When you go to a sacred place, and to some extent one could define library as being sacred, your mindset changes. It is definitely a place for artists to come and be inspired. It's not entertaining. It goes far beyond any notion of entertainment into the fundamental questions of human development. People want to hold objects, artists, particularly artists make books and make artist books, and so there's still that aspect of it as well, that physical materiality. An art library gives you access to an incredible amount of information about the world of art and design through all media, across all time periods. They're very interested in keeping absolutely up to date, and I'm always suggesting things which they eagerly get but also they're very open to other faculty suggestions and also student suggestions. It's no longer just this dusty repository of books. It's a place where you can come in and interact with your peers and group study. People might want to scan information. They might want to look at our picture collection, which has clippings from magazines from the 1940s to today. Yes, you can find a lot of stuff just browsing around on your computer and looking at YouTube, but there's almost a higher level of the curated material that we have here in the library. Milton Glazer wanted to donate his work to the school. That was our opportunity to create an archive. It's a rare opportunity to see original work. It's really one of the best collections in any school library anywhere. Part of what you expect in the library is to stumble across things in physical form that you didn't realize existed before. And I think that puts you in a different frame of mind. Learn and discover things and cite yourself on that arc of art history.